We're back to the series on how to quiet your inner critic with step two. Step two is super simple. It is shine a light on your inner critic. Think about when you were a small child and you had a bad dream, you called your parents. What's the first thing they did when they walked in the room? They turned your bedroom light on. Because when you shine a light on things, they seem far less scary and intimidating and they likely won't stop you anymore. So the next time your inner critic shows up, simply recognize that this is your inner critic and that he or she has shown up because you're about to do something amazing. Many times I'll actually talk back to my inner critic in this step. So my inner critic's name is Joy and Joy shows up when I am stepping on stage, about to coach a client, and I'll simply say out loud, or it, out loud only if I know no one else is gonna hear me, or in my head, something like this. Oh, hi Joy, I've been expecting you because I'm about to get on stage at the conference, and I know you're trying to keep me safe, but I've got this. You can also simply recognize that it's the voice of your inner critic if talking back is not your style, just recognize it and know that, oh, my inner critic's shown up because I'm about to get on stage and that's something that causes my inner critic to share those terrible messages with me. I know the truth and I'm going to do a great job. Try this out the next time you feel that inner critic bubble up Try to stop you from applying for a job, sharing your input in a meeting, or any of those times when you know you're most vulnerable. Recognize that this is not truth, this is your inner critic trying to keep you safe, and that there's actually no danger here, and you are going to move forward and do a great job. In step three, we'll take this a little bit further and talk about how you're going to then take Step one, identifying your inner critic, knowing who she or he is, and when they show up, then you shine a light, and then we'll move on to step three.